while the guys took a much needed rest, Captain Yuri guided them to the next leg of the adventure. They arrive at the Dry Tortugas, home of Fort Jefferson. With the arrival of a new destination comes a new mystery. Dude, what's this, guys? It says, good morning, guys. You guys have had an amazing adventure already fishing, but let's take it to the land. Welcome to Fort Jefferson, the Dry Tortugas Island. Use this GPS, find the locations, the coordinates that it's shown, and the next part of your adventure will be revealed. Ooh, sweet. Nice. All right, guys, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. The guys have just set foot on the Dry Tortugas. The islands were first discovered by Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon in 1513. First named Las Tortugas, or the Turtles, due to the abundance of sea turtles. The word dry was soon added to Mariner's charts to warn of the lack of fresh water. I was shocked again. I didn't even know this place was out here. This is amazing. You know, I never heard about it in history or anything like that, so to come out here and just to see about how they lived and what they did and all the things they were uh, up against. It's pretty neat to see how people actually survived out here. Construction of Fort Jefferson began in 1846 and continued for over 30 years. It covers 16 acres and is held together by over 16 million bricks, making it America's largest coastal fort. It's kind of beautiful. It's amazing to think that they brought 16 million bricks out here and built this within 30 years and it's still standing. I mean, I've, I've been through Florida with some hurricanes and you know, they're just category one hurricanes and I remember shaking in the hotel I was in, let alone, you know, a category three, category four that's come out here and things still standing in good shape. Oh, I was, we were just talking about how, um, how it was built for a fort and then it ended up being a jail. And uh, being here today, you know, you, you stand up here and you look out and you think, wow, pretty nice jail to be at. So I can imagine that some people found a lot of solitude out here that were, you know, that ended up coming out here and then others maybe, you know, who weren't so interested in the ocean or the tranquility of it probably think it's, you know, hell. During the Civil War, the fort was a military prison for captured deserters. It also held the four men convicted of involvement in President Lincoln's assassination in 1865, the most famous being Dr. Samuel Mudd. We'll never know if Dr. Mudd was ever involved in planning the assassination of Lincoln. But one thing our guys know, things could get testy on this adventure. If tempers flare, uh, we're fishing. We're fishing, so I, I really don't think that tempers are going to be an issue. After a while, people uh, tend to grate on me, and uh, I tend to get pent up with a lot of aggravation. I don't know what to expect, so I'm just, I hope they're ready to have a good time. I'm ready to have a good time. Following the letter's directions, the guys use a GPS right. to find their hidden treasure. The GPS leads them to the interior portion of the fort, a prison cell block. Awaiting them, another letter. Oh, you were right, look. There it is. Nice, another letter. Hey, when I'm wrong. <laughs> Here's the true prize you'll be fighting for, bragging rights. This lure keychain will be held by the one who catches the biggest fish from adventure to adventure. Ooh, cool. From adventure to adventure. Means there's there's going to be, be more. There's going to be more adventures. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, okay with that. This is getting better. That's going to get really good. Go explore the island. You guys have a good time. Don't spend too much time. Get back on the water. See if you can get the bigger one. We know you guys are fighting for it. people found solitude out here, you know, just with the view and everything. You have may to become, not, you, you're either not. gonna go out of your mind or you're gonna, or you're gonna find a piece. Yeah. But I mean, the ocean crashing, you know, I know that when I sleep and it's the ocean, I mean, so at least you're getting, you know. Yeah. But does that, I mean, for us, it doesn't yeah. seem that bad, but I guess it was probably pretty bad. Yeah. The whole yellow fever thing is probably really bad. <laughs> Coming up, one of the guys takes a run at the leaderboard. Oh, look at the yellow shark! Look at the shark! 